Hey guys, um, it is not always about this foot fetish that I want to want to talk about. But having somebody else to repeat that same kind of interest over and over, it's getting me to a point that I nearly gained to a breakdown. But having a same old partner that I knew ever since back in the 8th grade, it's not about a friend who talked to me about this foot fetish interest. Like right now, I'm talking about a partner that I knew since in the eighth grade, back in, in just about intermediate school. And that same time, while I was getting bullied from the seventh grade until eighth grade year, I just kind of like took the wrong way about how to fall in love and how to feel really accepted. There was this. This guy I liked, and I thought he liked me for being myself and being funny and being more open. And uh, I kind of took things the wrong way. And I was so young at the age of 13 to 14 at that time. And he really didn't care about how I was feeling. <laughs> Around Christmas 2007, he, he kind of got really close, and I wanted to get to know him. And by the first time during the second semester during the eighth grade year, he got me to this foot job. I know what he was trying to do to me before he wanted me to do that. He's pretty much getting exposed to that mature stuff. And I wasn't really ready to do whatever he wanted me to do. I was so timid, embarrassed, flustered. And I need to respect that personal privacy of his. But he kind of did took it the wrong way and he kind of got a little mad at me. Despite the fact I have a learning disability, but he never even know I also have autism spectrum disorder. Of course, I never even know this whole time while growing up. That part of, that I used to like, and I thought I would consider him as my boyfriend, but he's also an ex. He was one of the school's bullies. And he's kind of like butting up with the same seventh grade bully I used to get hurt before. And by the time when I was in freshman year, when I got back from my three week vacation with my family, my side of the family, the unthinkable, but really most disgusting thing that ever happened. Uh, that seventh grade bully who kind of told that partner, well, Bono, well, some of you guys may have heard of from my previous blog or such. I even thought back after all the foot jobs, foot fetishes, and so many crazy wild ideas. That same freshman year, that very first semester, he he physically hurt me. He hit me with eyeglasses case. But lately, well, thinking back, what's making me feel like it's pretty much my fault? I did everything what I can do just to, just to rebuild our friendship and still stay friends. But it made me feel so scared back over the past high school years. It feels like it's my fault, even during the senior year and the after school program. It makes me feel like it's all my fault for everything that I do was a mess up. Even during the time when I reached my adulthood, he, my partner Bono, he started doing things that I'm starting to get really scared about. I wanted to believe that, but I just don't want to think of him as somebody else anymore. That all me is all gone now, and by the time 
when I moved out of the island and lived with my fiance to the beginning of the year of 2018, around January. During that very first week of 2018, it was my first time of experiencing snow. I never even have snow, but all for the first time in my life, I actually get to feel and touch the snow. And I post pictures and a video on my Facebook. But later on that same month, around January 2018, I have received this really, really disgusted message. Because after all that and all this time, even though I am trying my best so hard to move on, he brought that crazy comment right in my face. But I never even remember that Bible actually said it. But hating their own loved ones? My loved ones? He has no idea what he was talking about and it didn't seem to begin with. <sighs> but after all what I have tried to do just to rebuild everything up, I mean, after I did this whole crazy foot job, even thinking back what that guy did to me, Bono, what he have done was so unforgivable. Even noticing back, I've been hearing that and noticing that he's starting to get political and sounding more like a jerk. But after explain, trying to at least explain how I felt, it can't help, I mean, I can't help but feeling really scared. I felt emotionally deprived. And ever since then, I happened to know that a certain friend of mine on Messenger, he wouldn't even realize that I was still pretty much in shock. Even though he wanted to have a foot fetish about my feet and worship it, I felt totally devastated. I felt scared and I just don't know how am I supposed to tell him how I honestly feel. Well, this friend I have, I know on Messenger, but I know him from Skype, but I had to block on, didn't have any choice. Then to... Instagram and then to Messenger, he has no idea I'm still getting pretty much uncomfortable and the way he's been bringing that up, it's starting to make me feel even more, more scared. I mean, I support him to respect his interests, but he needs to stop. He has no idea how I was feeling. But he can't be going off like that without ever even knowing I need my personal space. No offense. Because of that, he has no idea that I've been going through a lot. I've been through a lot, and he also had no idea that I have a fiance. I mean, I know he already knew about this, but he has no idea that I easily get scared that the same ex of mine, he might think about stalking me again. And because of that, but the way he had repeated the same questions about my feet, and he's worshiping about my feet over and over and over and over and over again. He has no idea that the same guy who have hurt me before, ever since I'm intermediate in high school, he might stalk me and just literally hurt me again. <sighs> it's not about my Mr. Friend hurting me. I'm saying that the way he's starting to talk about that, it reminded me of my abusive partner ever since when I was a teenager, from intermediate into high school. And, ugh. He has no idea my fiance is going to get worried about me. And that guy on Messenger, he has no idea that the stalker I knew ever since in, into me in high school, he has a Facebook and he will plan on hurting me again in person. And some of you guys have questioned, isn't it true that what he does to me, he doesn't think about how I feel as a human being and he constantly worships my feet that they're people too. It's my body. And I know you might say things to him, he already lost a chance and he might think about getting blocked and being reported. But I have no intention of pulling a grudge or resentment or any of that. I'm still uncomfortable, naive, and really unsure what to do. But to you guys, you think that the friendship that he really wants to see me as a human being it felt like it didn't really mean anything anymore. And it won't change the fact what he did to me was really hurting my feelings and made me feel in an uncomfortable position. And it's a good thing that he wouldn't even got sued. And that's not our intention. 
It's not my intention or my fiance's intention. But it also meant something to me when he has to put that well, only one interest aside and just talk to me as a friend, as a complete stranger. I don't need to bring this up in public. It just really needs to get out of my system. And to my friend, Mr. if you're hearing this, I need you to respect my personal space and look to me as a human being, not as something else and not worship my feet. I'm a human being.